Hello Pisces, what it do? It's AD with Chaos Tarot and I'm back with your mid-month, alright? So this is going to be May 2019 mid-month, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome back. If you're old, welcome, welcome. If you're new, we are so happy to have you here as we grow and expand, guys. I'm so happy and I thank my Pisces a lot because y'all really come in clutch. <laughs> Y'all like one of my biggest groups. So I appreciate y'all so much. So let's get into y'all's reading, guys. Before we get started, don't forget to check out that description box below and information on how to book a personal reading with me. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment, guys. I'm so happy to hear from you. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Kill them, Pisces. I love it. All right, let's see. That's a good. That was like a union, uh, possibly with like a, another water sign or just somebody with a really deep... Mm, artistic mm, mm. <laughs> passion <laughs> I was about to say passion King of Wands. yeah so let's see what's going on Mm. Literally, I was thinking no flyers and the, the almost all fell out, but nobody came out. So no flyers. Interesting. Ah, I love this. All right. And I'm a Pisces for any of you who are new. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, eh. All right. So we have the four of wands as the um underlying energy. <laughs> like where did my brain go where am I um we have the four of wands as the underlying energy guys and so this can be a card of foundation in marriage and I love the fours when they come up as foundations of the reading because that's exactly what they symbolize so this is a foundation based on happiness completion good times um could honestly be marriage celebration just taking a moment to really hit pause and just have a good ass time beer wine you know look at these bitches hey hey bitch you're like hey bitch like hey you know it's like one of those type of reunions um and if you're classy then you're like oh how are you and they're like oh the european kisses all right for the classy hoes but yeah this is also can be a card of um twin flame energy too with the 11 11 here a lot of readers read it that way so i interpret it too particularly with the cards that i saw um earlier so this is really awesome really great so let's see what's going on with pisces all right the heart of the reading we have is the chariot all right could be connecting with the cancer um moving forward the foundation we have is the two of swords. We are at the devil popping up as the present energy. The king of cups as the most likely outcome. And then we have the eight of pinnacles popping up as your card of advice. So stay focused. Keep your nose on the books. All right. <laughs> it's going to happen. All right. So some of you guys could be connecting with the cancer. So here we do have a balance of yin and yang, but it's mostly, it's a bigger balance. And I think it's a work-love balance because some of you guys are really going to be catching some feels for somebody and it could throw you off of your game because let's be honest, Pisces, we all know how we can get, all right? And particularly if we don't have anything in our charts like Gemini or air, or air energy or fire energy to kind of offset our like hopelessness when it comes to romance. Oh, sorry, guys. Mm, sorry gonna drive me nuts okay <laughs> we're back in this thing <laughs> all right so we have the chariot card popping up and this is balance like i was saying i'm sorry guys but this is a balance because we all know how pisces can get swept away kind of with the current right this is not doing that and and it's making the conscious decision to do that particularly with the two of wands coming up as the foundation all right so there's something here that you're refusing pisces possibly to deal with there's some temptation that you don't want to deal with but i don't i'm hearing this as Something new could be coming in, guys. And this could be work. This could be love. But it's something based that's going to make you happy. This isn't a negative thing. All right? But you're scared that you're going to fall into old patterns. The devil here is old, old, old patterns. Feeling like you're chained to something. The the, the interesting thing about these two cards is it's... um It's all about choice. And you feel as if you're blinded and you can't see but who put her there she did 
they feel as if they're chained to these to this man to this <laughs> I don't even know what that is this goat <laughs> this man goat they feel as if they're ch they you know they're chained to the devil but there's actually nothing that's linking them okay so it's it's making that it's being aware that you made the decision to stick around, okay? And so Pisces, there was like a, a lot of not movement here. But these are, I mean, the, the breaker of chains, hun, the breaker of chains with the chariot, you're moving forward, all right? And this could particularly be in work and in love. I do see you opening up emotionally or using your talents, all right? Something that you just genuinely love. It gives you that same feeling of being, you know, cuddled up, whatever this is. If it's not a person, it gives you that same feeling of excitement and love like for me I'm a painter you know so it's just like when I complete one of my art I'm like oh my gosh this is a baby it's that type of nurturing with the king of cups here and it seems like you're going to be putting a lot of energy into that once you make once you really make the decision that whatever you feel is limiting you and holding you back you have decided that all right no one has no one can decide that for you people might have told you that but you made the decision to keep it you know what i'm saying pisces that's not an attack that's what most people do but now with the chariot coming it's just like you got to keep moving forward you know you can't feel like you're being you're you're being left behind or that something's chaining you back something's holding you back that's something that you told yourself to keep you from moving forward right and then we move into a key energy so this is a this is the top dog all right top top dog top dog entertainment perhaps some of you guys are entertainers um but this is um it, this is success, all right? This is success in this realm. This is your energy. So, and it's a king energy. So you're owning it, all right? So whatever it is that you feel like you're limiting yourself from, you refuse to make a decision in the past. You refuse to cut ties. This could be a toxic, I hate using that term because I feel like everybody uses it, but it's so easy. It's, you know, but this could be a relationship that you've decided isn't good for you. It doesn't serve you as you move forward. It doesn't take you to your next level, all right? And so you're cutting ties, but it seems like there's a d divine focus that's coming here on your happiness and this could be through your work you're passionate about your work you're passionate about your work okay and so i guess the two messages here are guys if you're coming into union with the one if you're coming into union with your next partner guys keep your feet on the ground okay keep your feet on the ground make sure that you remain focused and remain diligent in your goals this person is there to help you and aid you and guide you if they are nothing but a distraction then that's not the one if they're consuming energy and they're not there with you grinding making sure if they're not like hey babe did you do what you said that you were going to do <laughs> if they're not that type you know then that's not the one because the type that you are it gives you some type of guidance and directions as you start navigating through your energy and your place all right could be connecting with the capricorn here um but yeah, really great energy, guys. But if you feel weighed down by May, and I and like I said, and I know that we've said this before, I feel weighed down by energy. My energy level is has been so low. Um it's 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 crazy. <laughs> my energy is just negative right and so some of you guys are balancing that but it's just like there's a there's a fighting there's a fighting that has to go through there's that warrior attitude all right that, again that breaking of the chains the breaker of the chains right it's your own chains that you are breaking though like i don't see don't think that this person who comes in or your next lover or any lover for that matter is going to be able to save you you have to save yourself and i think if you do the work now pisces to just save yourself and put in that work it's gonna pay off so well you're gonna be so happy you're gonna be so chilling okay so yeah so that is probably the focus for the end of may and again my my readings go to the for three months out so this could be something that you're working on you know throughout the summer but cool stuff you're moving forward if you feel like you're not moving forward you are moving forward and you are headed towards success you are headed towards the king right there's movement here i know that you feel like there's stagnation and that you're trapped and i'm gonna be <laughs> i'll be super honest with you pisces i literally had a mental breakdown before i started doing the readings today because nothing just worked nothing i was trying to use my phone and then my battery was too low and then like my computer wouldn't connect and the internet it was just one thing after another and i cried because i'm a crier <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I'm proud. I cry, okay? I'm happy, all right? I'm a 23-year-old who fucking cries, all right? So I cried like a child. Um, And then I got over it. <laughs> and here we are, right? You know, so 
It all worked out. I didn't get a chance to use any of the shit that I wanted to use. But, you know, I was just like, what's more important, the content or, like, the glitter of it? So I hope that that story, my pain, right, <laughs> from 30 minutes ago, is able to kind of get you going, you know? Like, it's just like, cry it out. You know, if you hit that wall, bruh, it's okay to just take it on to the office, take it to the bathroom, and just close the door and just cry for a little bit. But you got to come back out. Out. you got to keep it pushing okay these aren't things to limit you these are things to just make it work you got to make it work that's a lesson but you have all of the power and the energy to do so pisces as you're moving forward so um yeah <laughs> yeah you just got to make it work um i i don't know if any of you play the sims but the sims 4 there's a, there's this really funny um action and it's like cry it out <laughs> You know, if they're like in a really sad mood, you can go under the covers and they'll hide under the covers and they'll be like, hoo, 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 and they'll cry. That's literally what I'm suggesting to you and it makes them feel better. It's just like, cry it out, cry it out, all right? Cry it out if you feel like that's going to help you because you got to keep moving. You got to get up the next morning or you got to get up to 10 minutes later. You can't stop, but it's okay to experience those emotions and be like, why me, Lord? Why, why, why? What do I do? I'm a good person. I paid my taxes, you know? <laughs> Why is this happening to me? It's okay to take that moment, but then you got to be like, doesn't matter. I still got a job to do, guys. So that's what I got for you. So don't get so bogged down by your emotions at this point in time and indecision and things not working out. You're moving forward and you're going to be moving forward at lightning space and you're going to be successful. Just stay focused. Keep your nose to the grindstone, okay? So just imagine some hiccups towards the end of the May. Things might slow down, all right? Things might slow down, but you're still moving forward. You know, if that makes sense, it's just like, you might not have the, I can use like my, hopefully I'll speak this into existence, but this is a pretty, I guess it's an example that'll work. It's just like, I might only get five new followers, right? And so by the end of the day, I'm like, oh my God, I only got five followers. But let's say one of the new followers is Snoop Dogg or whatever, you know, <laughs> that is progress, you know? So it's, it's that type of trade off where like, you might not see it, but as long as you keep doing it, as long as you keep waking up, as long as you keep putting in that effort, then you're golden. All right. That's what I got for you for that's what I got for you here. Um before I let you go, I am going to pull uh, some oracle cards, but let me give you a friendly reminder to like, share and subscribe, guys. Please do not forget to check out the description box below if you would like to book a personal reading with <laughs> your beach, all right? So that's what I got for you guys, and please drop me a comment if this resonates. And also just be positive because I think Pisces, it's not like we're going through it. We could because the devil's here, but just the positive words of encouragement, guys. We need it. We need it. We're close. We're really, really close, guys. Three. Two. <laughs> guys, I'm sorry. This is all I always laugh because this is my favorite card. And it's 24, which is my favorite number. And it's time for a nap. <laughs> and that's exactly what I that's exactly what I'm getting, right? That cry it out. Just, just let it happen. Just make sure that you get up, you know, get up. But it's okay if you feel like shit another wall why 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 you know just go to sleep just take a nap and it's so funny because my mother um she's a virgo <laughs> i'm not sure if any of you know her but i have a virgo mother who i love very dearly um shout out to her happy mother's day but um she read this article a, a while back ago and it was just kind of like Pisces when they're overwhelmed the things that they need to do is go to sleep they need to genuinely take a nap and she thought that was so funny because I've always been like that you know when I get too overwhelmed I'm like well I'm just going to bed like you know, just like my brain hurts I'm just going to bed and as a Virgo she's just kind of like what like wouldn't you game plan wouldn't you strategize turns out that is our strategy a lot of us come into great ideas you know sleeping right or on the toilet okay that is where we really really get things going so if a lot of you guys need to take a time out really sit on the toilet just chill really get under those covers cry it out take that moment breathe out guys it's going to be okay you are moving forward if you feel like you're frustrated know that god is not failing you know that the universe is still behind you it's all behind your back guys okay know that so if you feel like you keep running into walls, yeah, that's a wall. But guess what? You of all people are blessed enough, kind enough, smart enough, strong enough to overcome that wall and the obstacle. And you're not even doing it alone because 
you're going to be successful in the universe. God is right there holding your hand through it. So absolutely beautiful energy, guys. I mean, just be prepared. Just be prepared to hit the floor, okay? Be prepared to hit the floor. <laughs> Some shit's gonna not work out the way you want it to. That's okay. That's okay. We got it, all right, Pisces? So that is what I got for you. Peace until next time, guys. I love you guys so much. Godspeed to you on this journey that we call life. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. And until next time.